hello friends today in this video we are going to discuss about the different fields available in the civil engineering okay now let us start our this video after completing our engineering bachelor of bachelor degrees maybe it's btech or be you will have so many doubts in your mind means from where i have to start how to start which field i should select in uh, suppose uh, uh, if i have selected some field whether i will grow in that or not i will get much uh, good salary or not so many doubts okay so before clearing your doubts first we have to understand how many fields we have in our civil engineering okay so these are the some fields which we have related to the construction and the other fields designing drafting construction and project management quantity survey estimation costing execution quality assurance quality control geotech environment transport irrigation and etc there are so many fields okay but particularly today we are going to discuss about this first seven topics okay now let us start with the designing part so in the in civil engineering we have uh, in designing the most important part is the structural designing we have before starting any project when we do sbc after that directly what we'll do first we'll start the structural designing means first we'll prepare a 3d model in a software like maybe start pro or etab or any other software for the structural designing so in that software what we'll do we'll assign the loads live load dead load according to the standard code books like suppose if you are in india so we will follow is codes indian codes okay so we'll follow the code books and we'll assign the load and in the software we'll run the analysis and after running the analysis we'll analyze the model and we'll decide in the beam in the column and for the slab and for the foundation what should be the sizes what should be the depth what should be the thickness then we'll decide the for reinforcement dias all that will be done in the structural designing next we'll gonna have interior designing or architectural works okay so in that what we'll do we'll design our interior parts as well as our elevations okay this interior designing and uh, this architecture works and structural works they are both interrelated to each other okay how if you are starting a project you are in your project you have uh, like excellent structure works but if your architecture work is not good then your project is not good okay so both fields structure and architecture they should be good then our project will be at most level okay now after designing what we'll have we'll have the drafting part means the designer it may be architecture or structure they will give us values now we have to prepare the drawing means we have to draw whether it is on the paper or using the software we can prepare this by using the autocad software also okay so for the structural drawings what we'll do we'll prepare section drawings reinforcement detailing foundation drawings framing framing plans okay slab limits all that comes under structural part now for the architecture parts we'll decide the positioning of the rooms positioning of the room area of the room okay the what should we say where should the windows and doors should be assigned all that things will be under the architecture plan okay now to further we have another software like autocad we can prepare or we can go with the revit software revit we can prepare 2d and 3d plans same time with the realistic look as we are seeing in our uh, youtube channel we have discussed so many topics so you have understand how we ha how we can work in the revit architecture software okay now let us show me the difference between the autocad and a revit plan if you see on the right side we have autocad plan and on the left side we have a revit architecture plan so on the right side you can see a 2d plan but to uh, ex uh, to make this 2d plan of autocad into 3d what we have to do we have to extrude that one but after extruding also this will not become realistic but in revit it's not like that 2d plan we can directly change it to 3d plan just by assigning the wall height okay and it may it will be available in the realistic mode and if you want to give more realistic look then you can give through rendering no third party software is needed okay now in the review structure this is how the work done we can prepare the reinforcement detailing section drawings framing drawings beam detailing each and everything schedules graphical schedules of the columns also can be prepared 
now after this we'll have our project management means construction and project management in construction and project management the file is prepared in which there will be detailed dates like if you are going to starting your foundation on which date we have to start our foundation for foundation how many manpower is required okay and for which uh, the quantities also has been taken from the quantity survey estimation costing files all these da dates should be taken then what you will do for each and everything like for example slab on which date you have to cast slab for slab uh, how in watch uh, on which date we have to assign shuttering okay then how till what date we have to do curing and after that how at what date we have to remove shuttering all these things should be in the this file then at last what we'll do we'll get one date okay on this date our project will be completed okay like that we can do by using the software primavera or we can do with the msp also microsoft projects but most of the people they use primavera only okay now after this we'll have this quantity survey estimation costing quantity survey estimation costing both are same academic wise we call it as estimation costing but in the field we call it as a quantity survey quantity survey is very simple what we have to do just we have to calculate the quantities or estimate the quantities then according to the specification we have to apply the price then we'll get our costing okay this in the estimation costing we will prepare BOQs, we will prepare abstracts, we will do length area cal length calculation, area calculation, volume calculations. Okay, in this uh, standard work, standard data should be required for the quantity survey. Okay, now all this work will be done in Microsoft Excel software. Okay, now the construction and project management and this quantity survey they are both interrelated to each other. Be when you are preparing the project management file, for that you require cash flow reports so that cash flow reports you can take from like how much cast uh, how much cost is required per month or what is you have spent in the one month that can you can take that uh, data you can take from the quantity survey files okay so like that these both fields are interrelated to each other now our third uh, our next field is execution execution is very important field what we have in this field we're gonna have total practical implementation total practical implementation of the works like we have to coordinate with each other department if you see whatever the drawings we'll get from the draftsman, whatever the values we get from the designer or whatever the planning details we get from the planner okay that all values we have to execute here all the things we have to do here so execution is the very important part first it is a practical implementation and we have secondly we have to understand the coordination part when you are doing a project it's not like that you are only the person like civil engineer is not only the person who is involved in this project in a particular project there will be different aspects like you will have architecture work structural works MEP services in the services like HVAC HVAC heat ventilation and air conditioning will be there electrical power supply lighting systems then you will have water supply plumbing sanitation all things will come together now as a civil engineer you have to understand that part also i am not doing i am not saying that you have to do that work no but as a civil engineer you have to understand because you have to work with them so you have to work in the coordination so this will stop the our through this will avoid the repetitive work okay so we have uh, at last uh, what is my bottom line is that we have to work in the coordination okay now after this you will have quality assurance and quality control now in the quality assurance this guy what he will do he will give us some for our project he will decide the guidelines means he will plan the guidelines which codes we have to follow which quality we have to maintain he will give us specifications for the project okay now this quality control guy what he will do he will maintain then he will maintain that quality he will check the quality he will control the quality directly like suppose if uh, for example if you are doing a shuttering so for that shuttering if the oil is applied properly or not the screws are tight or not and there is uh, no empty space should be there no void should be there and jacks has been tight or not these kind of things all these things will come under quality control so these two things are also important 
okay now we have covered the seven fields which are related to the construction okay now which field we have to select as a fresh engineer in which field we can work easily okay so for that i will suggest you you can work under drafting or quantity survey or execution why because suppose if you are taking as a designing engineer you want to start your career as a designing engineer so first you should have a master's degree in the designing engineer so if you want to start your career as a designing engineer so what you should do for after btech directly you take admission for masters then while doing masters join any structural engineer as a graduate trainee then you can continue as a designer okay now the next one is the drafting part so most of the civil engineers they don't do drafting part but if still you want to join as a drafter or coordinator so you can use the revit software and you can work in that as a revit structure or maybe revit architecture okay now for the construction and project management so in the construction and project management we have to may we have to manage total project so for managing total project we should know what are the things involved in the project so for that we require minimum 5 years 3 4 years experience right so we can't start uh, we can't start our career in that field now after that we'll have this quantity survey so as a fresher definitely we can start in this field why because this field is not very tough and easily we can get job and this uh, we will have simple office work like preparing boqs uh, estimating quantities through drawings and all that these things will cover under quantity survey topic okay now after that we have we have your execution execution is nothing but as a site engineer we can work on the site so this is our most important job every civil engineer they want to work on site but before working on site i will tell you you can start your career as a site engineer but before that you should understand how to read drawings coordination should be there coordination how the coordination is going to work for us we should understand that part okay the practical implementation should be there okay prior sequence of work knowledge should be there and how to avoid repetitive works that knowledge should be there because for example if i give you one road example while we are constructing a road there how many if i ask you how many engineers are involved then you will say civil engineer only but below the road what we'll have we'll have a plumbing line we'll have water supply line sanitation will be there internet supply line will be there telephone line will be there so all these are all with the different departments okay so if you don't coordinate with them what will happen after some time you have to again uh, damage your road you have to demolish your road then again you have to construct so to avoid this repetitive works you must uh, do your work with the coordination part okay now the last fields what we have here is the quality assurance and quality control so for this quality assurance and quality control if you want to start your career in this fields better you work for some industries like cement factories or reinforcement factories production factories production firms you work in that so you can understand this quality assurance and quality control part easily okay so this is for this video for with this we'll complete we complete our this video i hope you have got my point but if you still have any doubt you can uh, write us you know through a mail you can contact us through our phones okay Thank you